Stony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Escape from Africa, starring Eric Roberts. Yeah, Eric Roberts, there he is. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books one through eight. You are checking out The Pineys, and I appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, so Eric Roberts plays... He's a... Uh, I'm not sure what he is. I think he's I think he's British in this, which uh, I don't I don't hear his accent, so I don't know. I don't hear any dialogue coming out of him. Uh, but this takes place in 1914. What the hell? What the hell, dog? Trying to do the thing. What do you want? want to sit on my lap. Okay. Well, why I bothered to get you a separate camera? Because all you do is sit here and ask me to pat you. Uh, 1914 British outpost in Africa so it's about this woman actually Eric Roberts not the main character but she's in love and they're at an outpost somewhere in Africa and then it's the war I assume it's World War one I'm not super familiar with World War one and the African campaigns but I assume there was some and Germans are involved. Anyhow, someone attacks the outpost and burns it. And they have to flee. On cover of fake darkness. Yeah, this looks very fake to me. Why does it look fake? Well, because dark is normally... Well, you can't see things. <laughs> so, how, how are we seeing these people? Um, this is a technique, I believe, where they... They make it look like night, as if these guys are lit by, I don't know, moonlight. But uh, it's not really moonlight. It's just a, it's it's just an effect that kind of mimics that, but not really because it's not it's not it's not so dark that we can't see them. Like we shouldn't be able to see all this. So it's it's uh, it's not a bad effect though. It's not a bad effect. It just looks fake to me. And, and so does the fire in the background. I don't think they lit an actual village on fire for that shot. Anyhow, it looks like they did shoot it in mountains somewhere. Those giraffes don't look real either. <laughs> I'm just saying, they don't look real to me. Anyhow, ideas will be tested. I'm not sure what ideas. But apparently it's about the woman coming into her own. She's the true leader of the men. And she is kind she helps uh someone who's injured and then everybody tells her how wonderful she is she also had to save somebody's daughter at some point even the natives tell her oh you're you're just great so it's called escape through africa uh it's a weird name it's like africa wasn't we're just passing through africa that's what it feels like right escape through africa like escape through I-95 off free ramp. Yeah, we're just going through it. Yeah, it's not about Africa. We're just, eh, we're just passing through. They're in Africa. It should be escape from Africa. Now that name may be taken or may sound weird to the woke tards who might actually go see this movie. So escape through Africa gives them enough time to go, wait a minute. Well, you're not escaping from Africa, so I guess you're not racist somehow. Um, but I think it should be escaped from Africa. I think that's what they're doing. I think they're leaving Africa <laughs> to escape the war. Or, or it should be called something else completely. I don't know why Africa needs to be in the title. It, that's a sure indication to me that they didn't shoot this thing in Africa. It's, it's like the movie Screaming Africa. There's a lot of CGI going on. A lot of a lot of shots like this that don't... See, this shot looks very uh, uh, arranged, I'll say. Because you got this guy right, right in the perfect position. Um, and this also looks fake, too. But, you know, they can do that now. I mean, it doesn't look really fake. I mean, it just looks like something is a little wrong with it. Like this is just far enough away. 
um, that they could do this smoke effect and make it work, but not so close that it would be like there's not enough detail. But on this still, that looks fake to me. And this, this whole movie looks like a low-budget movie. So I assume they didn't have the budget to do anything close to this in, in, in real life. And just hired a bunch of actors to, and told them to look that way. That's that's where the train is. The train's burning. Ah, there's smoke. There's smoke. Act like you're seeing smoke. Um, and Eric Roberts is in a lot of these kinds of movies. Uh, it also looks like he's got, I'm going to say, fake gray, gray in his hair. Even though he might be old enough for gray, I don't know. Might be natural. I don't know. It's hard to tell what actors. Um... But I think most of the movie is this woman, you know, being the hero and Eric Roberts kind of just lending his gravitas. I think this is a hotel movie. I think it's a movie you'd see on a hotel, you know, for free. It's like, oh, let's see if there are any movies in this hotel. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we just got a, some kind of hotel channel and uh, there's this escape through Africa. Escape from Africa? No, it's escape through Africa. Why would you escape through Africa? It sounds like you're not stopping in Africa at all. You're just, you're going from one place through Africa to another place. I don't know, but most of the movie takes place in Africa. Well, I guess put it on. That's what the movie sounds like to me. Um, so the first act, they're in some sort of military a base in 1914 that gets attacked and they escape the base and then they're marching through Africa and Eric Roberts is leading them they meet various natives have various adventures at some point I think Eric Roberts dies yeah see this is a scene where she's kissing his gray hair and he's di he's dying or you know staying behind to to fend off the the Germans. I don't see any Germans in this. Anyhow, it's about the escape. The third act, they escape through, but from Africa. And I assume everybody in this uh, cast is English except Eric Roberts. Um, this guy's hair. I don't see that guy again. This guy's hair is. Everybody's hair is a little. Well, her hair is okay, but the, the guy she's talking to, his hair. Yeah, his hair's too perfect. It's too nice. Too, too... Yeah, he doesn't look like a guy who belongs in that time period. He looks like an actor, right? He's a handsome guy. He's got perfect hair. And then they put... They told him not to shave. To grow a mustache. And they put a little dirt on his face. That's what he looks like. So, I mean, this is a low-budget movie. Would I see it? I don't think I'd see this if it was free in a hotel and I had two hours to kill. I think I'd go to sleep. Um, I don't know, you know, the, the trailer is so underwhelming. The music is terrible. Now, I don't think the cast is terrible. I think they're a talented cast, but I don't think the screenplay is doing it any favors. Uh, I think it's just a trailer that's trying too hard and probably a movie that's trying too hard. You know, they're not in Africa. I think there's a lot of cheap CGI effects trying to sell the Africa part of this. And it it only sort of barely works. I think they would have probably been better off not to just to shoot the damn thing and not even talk about Africa. You know? Just maybe casually mention African places and have people piece it together. Have them go, oh, oh, I guess this is Africa then, 1914. Yeah, that makes sense. I saw mountains. Like, then that way they'd have to go back in their brain and think about the scenes they've already saw. But see, when you say escape through Africa, they are already got Africa on the brain going into this thing. And uh, I think that's a, a, a distracting title, but let's say it's not and you're watching the movie, but... Then you see something's a little off, and then you're like, wait a minute. This wasn't shot in Africa. I've said Africa like 90 million times in this uh, 
this this trailer breakdown. Anyhow, I, I no, I'm not going to see this movie. I will preserve. Thank you very much. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan in my lap. That's you. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. And we'll see you tomorrow. We will escape through to tomorrow.